So what is up guys, it's Drew ZMC here. Now in today's video, I've got something awesome, awesome and amazing for you. In today's video, I've got how to build a working laptop in Minecraft. You guys do know, I'll show you guys how to build things. I haven't shown you how to build something, you know, really, really cool for quite a long time now. So I thought, you know what, let me actually show you guys how to build this one. Because this one's actually really cool. So without further ado guys, let's get into today's video. Mm -hmm. If you guys do want to join my notification squad, shout out, don't forget to subscribe and keep notifications so as we're seeing guys, I'm going to be showing you how to build a working laptop. Now, of course, this is going to be a really, really cool tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is we need a little area where we're going to build a laptop, which we have right here. So get rid of all your inventory, get rid of everything. You're going to be starting a fresh. So I'm going to be using some oak planks. Now, I don't want to say I did this tutorial for this a while back, but the video was messed up. Like the audio was messed up. So I'm, I'm, up, I'm recording this entire video fresh new again so this is our clean awesome nice little surface that we got here now there's two ways you can do this laptop you can do the basic laptop like like the awful awful basic laptop or you can do the boss laptop I'm gonna show you the basic one first this is this is this is the bad one this is the one that you don't want to do and then I'm gonna show you the boss laptop okay so this is the basic laptop right the basic laptop okay um, is like you got you got a you got a pressure plate for like the keyboard then you got that for the mouse then you got an iron frame then you got a painting have you got a painting and I think you got a painting on the back and then you got like an item I don't know guys I don't know and then you got that there and then um, you've got maybe I guess you could say some ice or like a window or something like that that's that's the basic basic laptop um, it doesn't even look like a laptop right? and, 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 I, and I would agree um, and well, you can even you know do this um, and this is the basic one guys this is the basic one first and there you go as you guys can see that's the basic one now it, do it doesn't look too bad guys it doesn't look too bad I'm not gonna lie it doesn't look too bad but there's a better way to do a laptop guys which I'm gonna show you now so get rid of all these things and then what we need to do is we need to get ourselves a where is it 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 we need to get ourselves an armor stand and a chain helmet now what you need to do is you need to get yourself also some you need to get yourself some snow now I don't know where snow is I think it's in building blocks is it decorations um, where is it where is it where is it uh, snow you just need to get yourself some snow because it, it basically what you need for the snow is you need to create an odd level now I don't know why I can't find snow okay there it is so it's in decorations the second tab there we go as you guys can see we just mine down the block we're gonna place the stuff so let's say we want our laptop here we're gonna place some snow like that and I think we place two layers is that correct it should be two layers right uh, yeah it's two layers so you place two layers of snow then you place your armor stand on top like that then you place the chain helmet on top like that and then now what you do is you go on top and you place a block of wood right there then well you've got to make sure it's the same wood as that by the way just to let you guys know then you get yourself um, a piston and you get yourself a redstone block like that and then you want to make sure you put a piston above the block like that as you guys can see and you use the redstone block push the piston down then do it one more time like that there you go as you guys can see and now what's happened is we've got ourselves a really nice keyboard as you guys can see which is really cool and i think can you press a press play on top of that uh oh gosh i didn't mean to do that let me actually get rid of that can you place a press point on top? There you can. Yeah, you can, you know, have like a sort of keyboard design with like a sort of mouse pad sort of thing if you want to have that. I don't, I don't know. It's up to you. Then what you can do as well is you can have the button here like a mouse. But this is a working one, guys. Remember, this is going to be a working one. So, of course, I need to. we need to add a bit more detail than that. So what we can do now is we can, of course, add our computer screen, which is going to be this thing, which is going to be a painting. But like I said, it's going to be working, which is going to be really cool. Now, this is what separates other laptop tutorials, guys. So, as you guys can see, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. As you guys can see, that doesn't look too bad as a laptop. Now, like I said before, if you want, you can add a little pressure plate like that. And, you know, it just looks like a keyboard and sort of like a mouse pad sort of thing, which it doesn't look too bad. But I think this would work. Will this work? Hold on, guys. I need to. Tr I just try out this thing because this was something that I saw some people do, and I was like, "Whoa, that's that's kind of insane." Um, but yeah, okay, not not not. I, did, I didn't mean to place down a sign, but 
um, I think I don't I don't know how to do it. People did this really weird glitch if you guys remember where they had like a sign and a thing. But yeah, so laptop is there or working computer is there as you guys can see. But we want to make it awesome. We want to make it amazing. We want to make it insane. So we're gonna have to destroy our kitchen here, which we, which we created. So what we need to do is we need to go and get ourselves some. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Redstone. So this is where. It kind of gets a little bit confusing well not really confusing because I'm gonna show you how to do it very very easily so to make sure you get yourself some oak planks make sure no you don't need oak planks okay redstone lamp redstone repeater redstone a lever um, a button and that's all you're gonna need for now so what we want to do is wherever the painting is located we want to come behind that block which is right there and then we want to quickly replace it with a redstone lamp now of course you guys can see is a redstone lamp on it shouldn't be on let me actually set it to nighttime so I can check if it's on uh, it shouldn't be I don't know why it's on guys I, a redstone lamp shouldn't be on unless there's a charge nearby um, I don't I don't know what's nearby this this doesn't make sense to me guys um, oh, oh okay so yeah pretty much what's happened is um, the pressure plate is on so the redstone thing is on so if I destroy the pressure plate as you guys can see it's off so you, you, you can have the pressure plate there if you want but you don't have to but the reason why I wouldn't recommend that is because of this so we can do is um, you know if you want this to look like it's on and stuff if you have the redstone lamp behind it when you press the button it should should turn on but if it doesn't turn on what you can do is you can wire it so that it does so I'll show you how to wire it so all we need to do is we need to get the redstone to connect up to the back so all we need to do is we need to go underground just just dig out a nice area underneath just like two blocks as you guys can see just dig out the area underneath um, hope, hopefully you've got enough space in your house to do this because uh, um, if you don't I do apologize so let's just set that time today but yeah like I said if you want to have the pressure plate there and then you know it will be constantly on if, if you really want that but yeah if you want to you know activate on the button um, what you can do is you got to be careful as well though because sometimes when you press the button um, this thing kind of messes up but luckily it doesn't so what we want to do is we want to have the redstone charge here and hopefully it doesn't mess up okay it, it kind of messes up oh gosh uh, that, that wasn't supposed to happen so as you guys can see as I was saying I, I kind of messed up right here because of course when you press the redstone button the the keyboard messes up so um, pretty much I don't think you can actually use a button to turn it on and off but if you really did want to do that you'd have to get rid of this um, what did you call this armor stand so if you want to turn it on and off you can either get rid of the armor stand or just leave it be so I'll show you guys how it looks at night and as you guys can see it does look pretty cool it does look pretty cool at night because of course you know the lights are on you got the keyboard you got the mouse you got the screen you got everything you could wish for now of course once again guys you can you know like with it with any other desk I would definitely recommend that you guys just you know you, you decorate your desk because of course it looks really nice and it's really on but unfortunately the button doesn't turn it on and off and the only reason because of that is um, because this this thing right here is constantly constantly on and of course you don't want to just have redstone leading all the way around so yeah if you want to destroy the keyboard and you want to have it on and off what you can do is I'll show you guys right now so if you don't have the nice keyboard which I would recommend destroying I'll show you guys um, how to like make it on and off you know with a, with the, with a button so destroy the keyboard of course if you don't want the keyboard on and off then all you need to do is get yourself some um, redstone so I'm just gonna grab the redstone from here and then underneath the button you just want to place it down and place it around like that just place it around in a little I guess you could say I don't know how to explain it but just place it's going from underneath the button and then to the left and to the right and then we're gonna go underneath here again okay let's just get rid of this kitchen because I don't know let me make it daytime as well because you guys are probably having a hard time seeing this so just need to make it go all the way around and then eventually we just have to link it up to the whatever this is called and don't don't don't, don't place a, a plant pot there whatever this is called um the redstone lamp so when i click the button it should light up and if it doesn't light up that's because redstone isn't wired properly so you just need to make it go around and then into the back of this as you guys can see so pretty much like that so of course there's a bit of wiring but it's pretty pretty simple to do so with the redstone it has to be going like right into it as you guys can see it can't be going past it or else like it won't light it up so if there's something here like a button here or a thing like that like let's say for example this grass block was that it wouldn't work because it's going straight past it so um, if I hit the button now 100% it's gonna work as you guys can see it lights up so if I just cover this oh oh look oh oh no um, but yeah, just you just have to go. You just have to go a little bit deeper if you wanna if you wanna make sure the design looks a little bit better. As you guys can see, 
Um, and I think um, I probably should use a half slab here as well because it, it will be able to go through it. So as you guys can see, when you're using the half slabs as well, you should use half slab for floors. As you guys can see, it should... Why, why is it not lighting up? Let me let me set it to night time to make sure, guys, because... Okay, there we go. As you guys can see, so we come over, we use the button, boom, the laptop's on, da da da, -da and, we, and we do whatever. So yeah, I don't feel like it's really, really cool. It's really, really simple to do with the redstone as well. All we need to do is just get some redstone and make sure it goes into the redstone lamp. So this is the working laptop tutorial. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to share the video with your friends because they'll be like, hey, do you want to see a working laptop in my world? And they'll be like, oh yeah, this is it. So yeah, <laughs> guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. And it's been Juice MC, and until the next time in my amazing videos, it, ooh, that, that sheep is changing colors. But yeah, it's been Juice MC, and it's going to be peace from me.